Hello and welcome back. This is episode 23 of our Disco Elysium playthrough. Um, last episode we checked out the church. Uh, there appears to be some sort of creepy uh, hole in space and time in the middle of the church. Um, however, uh, we also met the uh, guy who lived in the rafters. Um, he seemed nice enough. Um, he was all for having a... Ooh, some money. He was all for having a nightclub there however the scientist who was working on the actual hole in space and time she was like ask the these people what they're actually going to be doing because she doesn't think it's a nightclub so we're heading back there to talk to them and we'll see what happens that's right these Hi these again. cool people so, uh, how things going uh about the church i checked it out uh, and what happened? Uh, I talked to the shadow clad being climbing the beams, a man living on the ceiling. Oh man, the crab man you mean. Who is he? What do you think? Uh, seemed okay, to be honest. Very spiritual. Really? Hmm, interesting. What's he doing in the church? Um, <laughs> guy climbs like a freak. Uh, just preaching and praying from the looks of it. No matter, the paranoid young man mumbles gruffly. Is he going to be a problem? Yeah, no, he's right. Let's get back to the point. What are we going to do about him? Cyber fair. These guys will never catch him. You will never catch him. There's nothing to do. Um, he keeps physical active, thinks spiritual thoughts, and doesn't drink. Who am I to evict such a person? As far as I can tell, he's not going to leave. He'll climb around up there, and you guys will never catch him. Actually, he told me he wouldn't mind the nightclub at all. I don't know, man, doesn't feel like a major hindrance to you. He rubs his jaw. A spooky guy climbing around when all the guests are trying to have a nice, friendly hyper time. Uh, he's going to live with the crab man. I guess it's not a massive problem now that I think of it. Everyone is welcome to dance till morning light. Yeah. Maybe uh, I guess we'll figure something out. Okay, but what about the other spooker? The one grandma's clothes. Did you see her? Um, so you know the former lead program for a programmer? That's odd. What was she like? Did you ask about the nightclub? She said you guys haven't been completely honest with me about your plans. Come on, man. Who will you trust? The spooky programmer or us? We just want to make the world a better place. Feel the love. Get down and feel it. And the stuffy tent muffles the last two words. The command fails to impress. Rhetoric. A half-hearted sells something which does not seem worth buying. The love, I'm not really feeling it at all. You'll get there, believe me. When we've got our gear set up, things will be flowing and pumping. Anyway, now that it's settled, how did she seem? Um, I mean, disposition-wise about the dance club idea. Je order nin, rocking it or dropping it. Uh, she did not like the Enedic club idea. What a pity. That's my favorite thing in the world. He drops a hammer back onto the toolbox and she doesn't like it at all. A shame. What can we do now? Did you see a way out of this jam and into the laser lit future of dance and unity? You dance. She made it very clear that she won't leave until her own project is finished. And you can't just evict her? Uh, no, I won't evict her. We have come up with a different solution. We have to come up with a different solution. I could go for another try. No. Look at you, honor man. No, Noid. He's right. Maybe we've approached it in the wrong way after all. I'm sure there's a workaround. We can make a deal not to bother her. If that's okay with her, we only want to get in the church and spread the joy and ecstasy of music. The lines in the dark exist, coexist. At least Crab Man seems like an advanced being. He's hard, he'll understand. Yeah, he can do his climbing thing in the tower and the programmer, she's like an anic, does she like anodic dance music? She absolutely does not really, really truly despise it. Egghead cannot believe what you just said. It makes him pump up the jam a little slower for a moment, but then returns to the full swing of it. No worries, we'll figure it out. The man nods enthusiastically, then leans in and whispers, If coexisting fails, you can always muscle her out, right? If it's okay with you, what do you think? No, we're not throwing her out. She seemed... She seemed nice enough, I guess. She didn't really enjoy us being there, but I feel like what she's doing, the hole in space and time, is more important than these kids' nightclub. Um, no, I'm not going to throw her out. He smiles wide and replica. Excellent. Good luck, my friend. Uh, let's deal with Egghead. I want to talk to him. He's a quiet man. Mostly communicates through music and being a master of ceremonies. 
What's a master of ceremonies? You know, a host, a declaimer of slogans. He's a performer, gets people going. Interesting sire, a bit like you then, an MC for short. How do you communicate with him? Well, he kind of just here. I don't really know how to communicate with him. Have you ever really talked to him? Yeah, sometimes when I like uh, stumble and find my way into his center, you have to hear a lot of hardcore on to the mega first though. The man smiles mysteriously, choosing you to let the beat speak for itself. Interfacing, I get it, he's a puzzle. Um, I wanna ask you about the tent full of equipment. Yeah, I see you brought your own water. Yeah, yeah, good to have a bitch to carry. When I first scouted the place, I did some reconnaissance. I'm not sure the church even has running water. And it's distilled too. Oh, he doesn't know what to say. Uh, it's the only one they sell at the fuel station. Drama. It's like he's lying to you, my liege, but he's slippery enough that there's nothing for you to grab hold on. It's, uh, I hate to tell you, but it reeks of sweat in here. It does, doesn't it? Told you to have a smell problem. He picks up a piece of telephone cord and inspects it. I also smell ether. Why? Ether? I don't smell ether. Do you know it? Nope. It's mixed with a peculiar chemical scent like laundry detergent. He sniffs the air and shrugs. Logic. It doesn't take a forensic scientist to get their drug related. They look and act like the kind of guys who've done their fair share. Perception. However, their breathing is regular, their jaws stay put, and their pupils aren't dilated. So not under the influence right now. At least not in the influence of stimulants. That does not rule out hallucinogen, benzos, some depressants. How do you know all this? What's all... Was, uh, let me speak, Jason. What's with all the nose of bed? Uh, the what now? Point to the bottles of nasal spray in the corner. The nose of bed ultra. You have a lot of it lying around. Oh, that. The ultra. We, um... He's like an actor looking for the souffleur for his line. I have a major sinus infection. Stuffy nose. We all do. Shit's all blasted up. Winter. Can't even breathe. You sound fine to me. Yes, that's all the Nosebed's doing. Without the Noser, I'd be drowning in shit right now. Nosebed is the shit. All right, next thing. Enough of that. Maybe everything is quiet as you've been told. Take a moment to analyze. 42. That's a white check, so I can do it again. I might tick off this one. Uh, Echolestes own church. Who are the Echolestes? Oh yeah, the uh, Metronoran name for the founding party. Thought it'd be cool to use it. Uh, rhetoric. If you don't know what the founding party is, there might be a way to mask it with minor demagoguery. Uh, don't mask it. Come to think of it, I've never really looked them up, you know. I can't give you a precise definition, but they're a very powerful religious organization. And? And they have roots in ancient mass society. And they're the custodians of Perikonasan Church. Plus, they anoint the innocent. They, like, made this innocentic system, no? Um, doesn't sound like they would appreciate dance club in their church. You're totally wrong about that. The Perkinson Church is above about love. Anna Dick music is about love. I got love for you, my Perkinson posse. Love is the relay of out to death. We dance. He violently shakes the tape player as if to see if he can break it. Love is hardcore. Unity, unity. Got these people. Make some noise for my Insulindian posse. He turns the volume up and then looks at you with a knowing nod, as if it's obvious you are now breaking to dance. All right. Now uh, don't scream what you're talking about. I know what a posse is. I guess love can be pretty hardcore. I now understand it was a lame of me to suggest otherwise. No, this is too much. No sane organization would want this level of absurdity in their church. Yeah. That's pretty downbeat. I think I speak for all of us when I say we expected the law to be more open to the idea of love, unity, and perkiness in posse. It's just the way it is. Yeah, I guess so. So you got more questions? The one with the large head is still looking at you, nodding his head, waiting for your body to start moving. His expectation is fierce. You can't be scared of moving a little bit. Get to the grind. 42 still. A number of things don't add up. Let's take a look. Look at that. 42%. How about gather around kids? All right. I got bad news for you, Andre. Things don't add up. What things? Sooner said you'd be lying about your plans. Your answer was very unconvincing. You're sober. Was it hard for you to keep sober for this meeting? This isn't the making of a club. It's a tent full of laboratory equipment for manufacturing drugs. 
I have no idea how you arrived at that conclusion, but it's wrong. Look, we even have speakers. One speaker, they have one speaker. Where is his friend? Did he lose his friend? What do you mean? The other speaker, you have only one. It's one speaker system, it's monodynamic. Uh, you wouldn't know the first thing about sound reproduction and addict music, other speakers. Pfft. This may be the brain damage talking, but you've definitely never heard of monodynamic or one speaker system. Uh, the nose of Fed here is for its active ingredient. He said it was for his nose. What more do you want? Likely pseudoephedrine, almost exactly the shape of, um, almost exactly the shape of uh, ephedrine. Um, ephedrine makes you happy and so does pseudoephedrine. The distilled water, cornerstone of a clean lab and all sell your base life. What's your point, Lawbringer? The ether in the air, a useful solvent, good for getting acting agent out of any solution. Make up your mind. First it's sweat and then it's ether. There's no enemy for pylon anymore, is there? No shit. He sounds tired. Uh, in short, you tried to use police detective set up a drug lab. That's... Come on, that's... Punishable by a summary execution. It's not. His eyes were wide with fear. As soon as said you'd be lying about your plans, your answer were very unconvincing. He froze his brow. Fuck, man. It's difficult to get along with some people, but we're trying to make an effort. We are on a mission here. You're sober. Was it hard for you to keep sober for this meeting? We don't need drugs to be hardcore. Shut the fuck up, Egg. Uh, maybe not today, Egg, but you do need drugs to get through the day when you're not expecting me. Bottom line is, I know. What is exactly you know? So what are we going to do with you? What do you mean, do? Empathy. There's resignation in his voice. He's almost ready to drop the act. It wouldn't take a lot of pushing. We did this lawman style. First you tell me everything, then I pass judgment. You tell me what's really going on and we'll work from there. I can be lenient. I don't really care. I just want to crack the case. What do you mean by lenient? Not calling back up and hauling you off to the pen for starters. Haven't you heard I'm the dirtiest cop on this side of the river? I'll make your life hard for you using every connection I've got. Not calling back up and hauling you off for the pen for starters. Okay, man, okay. Things are just so, so hard for entrepreneurs in this city right now. It's not like we lied when we said they want to turn the church into the wickedest club in East Revachol. Because we do, we totally do. We just need to turn it into a speed lab before to get our foot in the door. And why did you need me? Like I told you, spooky asshole moved in while I was getting all this stuff together. A month ago, the place was empty and now it's all spooked up. They're not really spooky, are they? No man, they're spooky right, it's just that they would pro also probably call the police if we started cooking speed in there. But the sign was way off too. I couldn't feel the love at all. Sir, you promised you'd be lenient. This is it, judgement time. <sighs> Drug dealers are bad. Um. Alright, I'm not going to take for cash because Kim. Let's be a good cop. They try and set up a drug lab. No, please. The one with the large head press stopped on the tape. Inside the signs, you can hear the wind howl outside. There's need for, to be a club for Anadic music in there. Everyone hates each other. Everybody hates it in there. I hate it here. It's all just drugs and we're slaves and I can't. We're running out of time. Without his smile, he looks heartbroken and older than you thought he was. He almost looks like as old as you. We need a win. I promise this will be a win. We won't cook speed in there. We'll do it clean. We'll do it true. We'll do it sober and real and beautiful. This will be a victory for the light. Law is the law. If you can avoid the call, we'll consider future to hunt you down. Man, that speech was beautiful. I think I've changed my mind. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I feel like... I feel like their plan was to do drugs and they've bought all this shit. Are they just going to give it up, are they? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know at all. Nah, we're gonna be a good cop. The law's the law. No. It looks like, what does that even mean? Fuck man, you said you'd be lenient. 
What happened at the station? Um, the case will be reviewed. You might get prosecuted or not. We'll see. Fine. I guess we're truly done. But first, I need to see your ID. The would-be leader pulls a card from his pocket. The name reads Peter Andre. Carl Hotzman. Close to tears, the one with large head and the card, the name reads German van der Wick. Mark their names down. And I guess that's that. Pack it up, egg. Now, those of you watching this may think I'm an arsehole. But they were going to make drugs and sell them to children. Fact. <laughs> Turn that music off. Plus, I'm just a party pooper. Kim would be disappointed. That's our only goal in this game. To make Kim happy. Aren't you interested where they went, Kim? Yes. <laughs> no, he doesn't seem to care. They're gone. All right. Done. Tick, we've actually solved something. Ah, oh, finally. Look, whether you think I did the right thing or not, if they started the nightclub, I have, I would seriously doubt a school of fish huddle around the fence post, the scatter in the dark, scatter into the dark. Um, had I let them set up the nightclub without doing drugs, I seriously doubt their ability to not then resort back to drugs again. No way. Um, no way at all. Alright, let's head out of here. Because we have nothing left to do in this village. We're gonna, we gotta go to back to, um, Kim's car. Don't know where the zoologist is. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where he is, a cryptozoologist. However, I thought he might have been the dead guy. Have we been in here? I don't think we've been in here, have we? Or was this the one with the stool? I think we might have been. Oh yeah. If I put my torch in my hand, will it do anything? No, not really. Apart from give a cool effect. All right, let's go back to town. Got a ton of bottles. Got a few things that we found that we can sell. Uh, we'll give the bird to Gart and he might um, give us a free night's uh, rent. He also might clean up our room, which is really bothering me. Um, have we been here? What's this place? Oh. Ahead. Decades old concrete defense. Children play on them now. Oh yeah, this is where we came across. Now the cryptozoologist was down near the reeds looking for the the hibbity pink or whatever it was. I can't remember what the um, thing was called. I'm just going to look at these reeds here. Oh no, I don't know if they're reeds or reeds or weeds. I think they're weeds. All right, let's get back to it. Oh, I feel good. I, I feel like we achieved something out of 22 episodes or whatever we're up to of not, of just getting more and more questions. It's nice. It's a good feeling. This is what it feels like to be a winner. Um, Hello, guys. <laughs> How can I help you? I got some things. All right, what do we got? I'll sell that. Eight. Eight smackaroons. Got a postcard. Uh, got the shop put. You can have that. Banged up fuel canister. You can have... I hope I don't need any of this stuff. Uh, I hang on. I'm still going to hang on to that. And the bird is for Gart. Done. 31. Jeez. If worse comes to worse, we can stay with the old lady in the fishing village. She offered 
she offered her um her abode. All right, let's call the library. Um, connect me to the Jamrock Public Library. Thanks, Alice. I've got Central Jamrock Public Library on their line, and I've already introduced you to their library and connected with the call. Yes, this is Central Jamrock Library here. Um, how can I help you, officer? I'm looking for any information that you can provide on Billy Majin, a reader. Billy, Billy Majin. Give me a moment, I'll have a check over our database. He puts down the receiver. Yes, hello, are you still there? Um, I found Billy Majin's home address. Is that all right? No phone number, unfortunately. Uh, they're too poor to have a phone line. Uh, yes, home address is fine. Here we go, sir. Uh, Rue de Saint, 33B apartment number 20. It's Martinique, I believe. Uh, Capside Apartments is say that's all. That's where the smoke on the balcony lives, isn't it? Uh, do you have any other information? Now, it says here it returned their last book just a few days ago, but I wasn't working that day. Do you know someone who was? Uh, Marie. He covers the phone uh, with his hand and yells out into the room behind him. Marie, do you remember a reader named Billy Majin? They returned Thelbot a book the other day. Yes, it was my colleague Marie, um, the library said. She said that it was Billy's husband who returned the book. He also asked for this new sci-fi release, Lose Radio City 87, but we don't have it yet. Could you have a name now? Um, how did your colleague know? So Billy Majim is a woman. I don't know if um, same sex marriage is uh, allowed in this in this town in this town. Um, how do you know it was her husband? Uh, Marie knows Billy. She's been working here longer than me. Sometimes her husband returns some of the books for me. Do you know the husband's name? Uh, sorry, no. Marie only knows it by sight. Can you describe him? She's an older man and that she's pretty sure he had a drink or two last time she saw him. What was he wearing? Um, turns away from the phone. Wasn't really paying attention. Perfect. Happy we could help officer. Goodbye. The librarian hangs up and call gets redirected back to the station with a soft click. Uh, I won't report it just yet. Let's go. Um, thanks, Alice. Let's go back to... Let's go up to the balcony. There's the racist truck driver, the lorry driver. We'll go back to the balcony. All right, a couple of things. Let's get my thoughts in order. We're gonna pay off our bottles. 90, I thought I was, it was a lot more than that. <laughs> oh well, it's all right. Uh, was there anything to buy? I need a map. Can I buy a map? I don't wanna steal a raincoat. One endurance. Uh, that's fine. I don't need a rank. I need a map. How do I get a map? Do they have maps? Sartanese pharma um, Pharmaceutics. A small cabinet on the wall filled with various medicines, bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the St. Bastis Pharmaceutical logo. Uh, their logo is blood red ro bloodless rose, pure white, untouched by harm. Um, three to morale, one to morale, three to health, one to health. Who is St. Batiste? St. Batiste, you know, the pharmaceutical company. St. Batiste Pharmaceutics, the one that sells meds out of St. Batiste. Uh, she points that one there. She's right. St. Batiste's company derives its name from St. Batiste's city. itself so named because that's where that's what it is. A rare case where that really is the full etymological history, as far as anyone knows. All right, I don't need any of that. Uh, I was hoping for a map, but that's cigarettes. Do you sell a map? Um, is this about the questions again? Because I don't really know anything. No, that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> for, thank you for that. Where do I find a map? All right, let's go talk to Gart. We'll give him the bird. Get some brownie points. Um, no, still no map. <sighs> Goodbye, racist. Um... And then once we give Gart the bird. Uh, oh, that's right, there's. Oh, there are those other police. Can I help you? I found this new bird for the whirling. What is this thing? I'm no biggie, I just thought it would look nice on the wall. I'm that kind of cop. 
What, the interior decorating kind? He inspects the bird somehow suspiciously, then mellows. You know, I'm sorry. He's actually a nice bird, a competent piece of taxidermy. I can fix it to the plaque and have a new bird in the establishment, I guess. So I don't know. Thank you. I'm going to go with thank you. I feel good about our work here today, Lieutenant. It's all about the little things, like bringing people random stuffed animals. Thank you, Kim. Rhetoric. It's not actually about that, but he liked it. I'm going to pay my bill now. Good. You got the room for the night, but remember, we'll need another 20 for tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I find it's, it's easier. Now, we also need to talk to the chef for some reason. We had to talk to him after a certain time. Uh, we already asked him about the door. Maybe not. No, we still can't do anything with it. Ooh, what's this? More money. Okay, we're already at 13 real. I think as of tomorrow night, we will sleep at the old lady's place um, in... Oh, no, we don't want to go in here. Sorry, wrong building. Uh, we'll sleep at the old lady's place at the fishing village. Save some money. Um, I just didn't want Kim to judge too much. Look at our to-do list. It's getting shorter and shorter. I love it. All right. Uh, I don't think we tried to do this. I don't think we upgraded whatever we needed to. No. Conceptualization. Uh, the balcony smoking man was this way. It was room 20, wasn't it? He was 28. Maybe it's in here. Uh, here we go. Uh, maybe the nice lady will tell us where room 20 is. I'm looking for Billy Magine. Do you know where she lives? She knows her palgate. It's about Victor, isn't it? It's always about Victor. You'll find Majin his apartment 20 upstairs. It's one of the doors on the balcony. Is that the same? I'm assuming that's the same as um where the smoking man lives. We have to go back to him tonight. After nine, I believe it is. Okay, this one's lit up. 20, a weather brown door, number 20. Something smells good. Super le onion, onion soup. Hold on, Kim, we should discuss this, but what should we expect? You're right, let's talk this through. He looks at the apartment door and lowers his voice a bit. You hear light footsteps passing by the door and some folk music playing in the background. We have our first preliminary identification. In all likelihood, the deceased is the husband of Billy Magine. We need to confirm this as well as deliver the death notification to Billy herself. Now, delivering the death notification is never an easy task. There's a reason why it's often called the most stressful part of the job. This is why it's usually done in pairs. You got this. I'll be monitoring your reactions, ready to act if necessary. Uh, you got any advice? How to tell her dead? Just don't say that you know how they feel. You don't. All right, let's go for it. Hello? Who is it? A voice calls out from the other side of the door. And someone turns down the radio. The police? A moment, please. Give us a moment. Sorry, it's Billy Machine's home. This is the police. Tidying up nervously. The door is open. Sorry, Billy. This is going to be a downer. Whoa. Don't run, okay? Take it slow when exploring the apartment. Be respectful. An empty pack of red Astro cigarettes hidden under the bed. Same brand of cigarettes you found in the trash next to the deceased. Windows covered in the old newspaper clippings. Can't they afford curtains? A chalk drawn height chart for children's growth over the years. Do they mind if I wander into your bedroom? A textbook for high school, mathematics, trigonometry mostly. Posters of contemporary pop star adorn the walls. The clock is ticking away with 
an odd cheerfulness. Right, we'll quickly mosey into the bathroom. Oh, pa oh kitchen, sorry. Packets of humanitarian aid. Marconi's. Some leftovers kept warm on the stovetop. Smells like buckwheat and onions in here. All right. Hello, Billy. It's you from the book stand. Oh yeah, she's the lady who was not working. I don't think I introduced myself properly. I'm Billy. Would you like something to drink? Or tea, lemonade? We're out of coffee. The lieutenant has taken off his foggy glasses, busy cleaning them with their handkerchief. For now, you're on your own here. Uh, thanks, but I'm alright. Is this about Victor, my husband? Is he in some kind of trouble again? I can come pick him up at the station if that's what... She stops her eyes trying to read the answers from your face. Composure. Keep it together. You don't want your body language to tell her the news. Sorry, I'm rambling. I, it's just that Victor often gets into all kinds of trouble. So how can I help you? Um, you live here with Victor, your husband, right? It's me, Victor, and the kids here. We have two daughters. How old are your daughters? Jolie is 16 and Janine is 18 next month. Where is everybody? I don't see anyone home. The girls are staying at their friend's place tonight and Victor is out. She swallows visibly. Out where? He has a problem with drinking and so he disappears every now and then. He's probably in the pox, drinking with his friends. I sent him to the library a few days ago, but I guess something came up. Uh, what was the name of the library? Oh, it's in Jamrock, the one on Moreau Street. I don't know the official name. Central Jamrock Public Library? I think so, yes. It is. Um... Uh, what was he supposed to do in the library? Just return a book of mine. Why? Why are these questions? What was the name? Of, was it by any chance? Yes. She becomes unsettled. All right. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to have to just tell you. 72. You've done this before. Just keep your focus. Ma'am, I'm very sorry, but your husband, Victor, was found dead on the Martinese boardwalk. What did you say? Your husband, Victor Machine, is dead. I'm very sorry for your loss, ma'am. Oh, she touches her neck. Eyes pale like pearls in seawater. Oh, but he was just... She looks at the kitchen table. There were two cigarette butts and still in the tray. But he was just here, alive. We understand this is, it comes as a huge shock. I want you to know that me and my partner are here for you if you have any questions. Take your time, ma'am. What happened to him? Um... Her neck and cheeks are covered with red blotches. Her double chin is shaking. Uh, it's still early to say, but at first glance it seems he slipped it and hit his head. Was he drunk? Um, alcohol may play a role, yes. I see. She withdraws trying to picture the scene. And you just found him there, lying in the cold? How long had he been there? If you say two days, maybe it will be etched into her mind forever. It's hard to say at this point. She blinks, eyes welling up with tears, as her hands start searching for something from the pockets of her dress. The handkerchief. Here, take this. Yes, thank you. I knew I hung onto that handkerchief for a reason. Um, she smiles, terrified smile, and wipes away her tears. She looks disorientated. Is there anyone we could call for you? A friend, a family member, someone who could be here for you? No, no. I just need to tell my girls. The air gets sucked out of her lungs suddenly. God, I should call them. Should I tell them to come home? No, a day. What? Yes, they should know. Do you want us to call them and ask them here? No, take a day to recover. You'll be better prepared when they come home tomorrow. Good, that's probably the right thing. Thank you. She nods, but with a wretched expression. Wretched expression. Just tell me, what do I need to do next? Where is he? Can I see him? We've taken him to the city morgue. The local coroner will be contacting you shortly to arrange a funeral. Here's his number in case you want to contact him earlier. A very good call. He hands her a leaflet with the morgue contact information. Is there anything else the RCM can do for you? No, I'll call you if something comes up and I'm still... I'm still... She rubs her face, runs her fingers over her cheeks and become numb. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. If I'll call if... Again, I'm very sorry, ma'am. The lieutenant nods at the woman and then backs to you. His voice heard. We should step outside. Set the library card by her. Leave the room. 
Uh, first time that Harry's actually not fucked something up. <laughs> something important. What's up, Kim? You did well. Lieutenant says as soon as you've left the apartment. The balcony uh, feels cool and quiet. Uh, what now? I'll call the station when we're finished with the day and let them know the name of the deceased. Right, this is closed then. Let's go. Do I still need to let the station know? No, look at that. Wednesday is done. Wednesday is done. Kicking goals. Do you know what? I might finish it there. I'm going to finish it on a high. Um, with things having been solved. Um, I know it's not as long as the other ones, but I feel if I keep going, something will happen. <laughs> something bad. Um, so we're going to finish on a high. Uh, any suggestions or advice, um, please let me know. Um, oh, that's right. We're doing the wasteland of reality. What was that for? Oh, because we're an alcoholic. We're trying to stop being an alcoholic. We're trying to be a good cop. And we're doing well. Today was a good day. Um, any advice would be great. Uh, any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below for the game or for the channel. Uh, thanks again, and I will catch you next time.